Hey guys, Freddie Brewster here with another episode of Home Health and Hobby. If you're interested in learning how to make a French omelet, stick around. This is how you do it. Medium heat, please. Into your 10 to 12 inch pan, you should have about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of butter melting. And you want to use a nonstick pan. You don't want to be a hero here. Don't try to make a French omelet with a non or with a regular uncoated pan. You want to wait for your pan to get a little bit hot, a little bit hot like that. Using a fork, not a whisk. Don't be rough with it. I you love your food, not beat it. see where it is. There we go. Now this is more of a techniques video than it is a recipe. I like to add the eggs right into the fat. So the fat pools up around it like that. And off to the side you want to have a plate waiting. And you want to keep this moving. Figure eights is the traditional way. I want those curds to be small. A country omelet or an American omelet, ones with all the fillings in them, are traditional to have large curds. Starting to set. There we go. Once it's starting to set up on the bottom like that, you've got your curds formed. Let it sit for a second, but a French omelet is important not to have any color. You don't want color on your eggs. You don't want any brown or any kind of Maillard reaction forming. Now the top, just a little bit of... You want to hit your pan at the handle, like so. so. You can get over here. My pan is off the heat, although it is over it. You just flip it over. Like so. You want it rolled up like that. Grabbing the pan like so. Let that set up a little bit right there. And that is the perfect look of a French omelet. That lack of color, shiny. Very smooth looking. This is the time to season and add any herb fiends, as you will. And that is how you make your own French omelet. I hope you guys learned something and learned a new technique. Try this at home. Let me know how you like it. Subscribe down below, like it, share it with your friends. It really helps me out, and I really appreciate you guys stopping in to check out this episode of Home Health and Hobby. We'll see you next time.